Tonight's television main event, the Colorado Kid, the North American heavyweight champion, and the green trunks against Hustler Rip Rogers. Referee Chris, abs of steel. There, the Hustler Rip Rogers has Colorado Kid in the figure four. As you can see, he's hanging on the second rope there, and the fans are trying to tell the referee. There, he catches him, and Rip Rogers is going to have to break the hold. The fans love the Colorado Kid in Evansville. Heck, they love him everywhere. And we're proud to have him as our North American heavyweight champion. And what a match these two had last Wednesday night in Evansville at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum. I mean a downright fight. If you can imagine, we're joining this match 27 minutes into the match. They've all been already been wrestling almost a half an hour. Hustler Rip Rogers and the Colorado Kid. Colorado Kid with an elbow. Rip Rogers sledgehammer to the back of the neck. And the Colorado Kid with an elbow. That's why the Colorado Kid is a champion. He never gives up the fight. And a reverse. And Rogers goes in. As you can see, Colorado Kid still favoring that left leg. And Rogers has been trying to take it out this whole match. Colorado Kid. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Oh. Small package. Count of two and a half. Almost had the hustler. Grabs a headlock and Hustler just throws him down to the mat. All Hustler's concerned about is working on that leg. Hustler wants to take out that leg. But that leg, along with the rest of his body, will be at the Jonesboro Sportatorium this Monday night to defend the North American heavyweight title belt against Brickhouse Brown, the one and only Brickhouse Brown against the Colorado Kid this Monday night in Jonesboro. Don't miss it this Monday night. Colorado Kid, go for the drop kick, something he shouldn't even done on that weak leg. And Rip Rogers, very crafty veteran that he is, held on to the rope. Now, Rogers is trying to get his senses here. He's had a heck of a battle against the Colorado Kid so far. Elbow down to the back of the neck. Colorado fighting some more. Picks him up. Oh, that knee. Yeah, that leg. He can't be doing that. Rip Rogers gets a count of two. Rogers jammed his thumb on the mat. Colorado Kid desperately trying to get to his feet. Rip Rogers going for that leg again. Working on that leg of the Colorado Kid. Hustler Rip Rogers. Talk about been all over the world and back. Been in the wrestling business over 20 years. Held how many major titles? Central States title in Kansas City. He was a global champion in Texas. As you can hear all the fans, go kid, go. They love Colorado in Evansville, Indiana. I know I said that before, but it's true. Everywhere we go, they're lining up to buy tickets to see the Colorado kid. Superstar Bill Dundee, the seven-foot giant. You got to see him in person just to believe it. Steve Dahl now with Ozark Mountain Wrestling. Pat Tanaka, the Spellbinder, and many more coming, ladies and gentlemen. You ain't seen nothing yet, as the saying goes. Colorado Kid holding on to that knee. I tell you what, he's not going to give up, though, folks. He's going to stay in the... Oh, Rip Rogers just throws him to the arena floor. Colorado Kid down on the floor. Fans encourage him to get up. Oh, Rogers coming out now, grabbing that chair. Oh! Chair to the back of the leg of the Colorado Kid. Rogers says, here I am. As you can hear the boos, I don't have to tell you, these fans do not like us for Rip Rogers. Oh, and a kick to the midsection. Chris Steele saying, get it in the ring or I'm going to disqualify you, Rogers. Get it in the ring right now. Oh, and a chop. My gosh, and Colorado Kid down to the floor. Rip Rogers back into the ring. Saying that's your champion. People say you're darn right it is. Hustler Rip Rogers against the Colorado Kid. Tonight's television main event. For all you great fans watching Channel 8, KAIT TV in Jonesboro. We are so thrilled, too. We've just been cleared on a Fox station in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, premiering January 7th at 10 o'clock 
Sunday mornings. WBSI Channel 23, Kate Gerardo. Rip oh, and Colorado sends him down to the mat. Colorado kid. KBSI, I'm sorry. I'm thinking radio, aren't I? KBSI 23. Oh, I don't want the people who can't get mad at me already. Small package again, count of two. KBSI 23, Cape Girardeau, and us. January 7th, premieres 10 o'clock Sunday morning. A lot of you people in uh, Missouri get that station, so you'll get to see us twice a week. Hustler Rip Rogers. Colorado says no, and Colorado introduces Hustler Rip Rogers forehead to the turnbuckle five times, hits him by the head. Oh, look at that. Rogers don't know what to cover up. Colorado is taking it to him. Colorado's about to tell the ref, leave me alone. Russ Hustlers took the shortcut the whole match, leave me alone. Oh my gosh, that's going to get him disqualified. Colorado kid just tossed the referee back, said, leave me alone. Said he's been a bully the whole match and nothing Colorado kid hates worse than a bully. Now they're taking it out on the arena floor. Hustler Rip Rogers. The Colorado kid, oh, I know. Rogers is going to get a chair again. Chair again, no, Colorado kid stops it and hits Rogers in the head and Rogers was just introduced to the Coliseum floor. A big elbow to the back of the neck. And another one, and Chris Steele cannot, <laughs> he said, get someone out there to help me. These two will not quit. Oh, and Rogers goes down. Colorado now on top of him, pummeling Rip Rogers. Rip Rogers just wants to get out of the ring. Rip Rogers, your winner, by disqualification. Colorado kid, still the champion. Rogers has had enough.